Jesus. It's a gentian French bitter liqueur created in the late 1800s, but it wasn't imported until 2012 by Pernod Ricard to the United States. And this is the main ingredient that was used for the white Negroni. Has a little bit of sweetness, but a lot of earthy notes. Lots of gentian root. I get herbs and spices as well. There are different ways that you can enjoy Suze. I would actually enjoy it with some grapefruit juice and some Angostura bitters. That could be nice. A 50-50 martini, which is equal parts vermouth and gin. A little bit of Suze instead of some orange bitters and a grapefruit twist. That sounds my cup of tea. But obviously, there is the white Negroni that was created by a London bartender in France. Him and a friend went to France for a cocktail competition. While they were in France, they were really craving for a Negroni. Instead of making the Italian classic and make it with French ingredients. Instead of using Campari, they used Sous. And instead of using an Italian sweet vermouth, they use Lille Blanc, which is a French semi-dry, semi-sweet vermouth. I don't have Lille Blanc, so I'm using Doland Blanc, which is also French. Now this drink is the epitome of classic drinks, honestly. Like, it uses only three ingredients and it packs a ton of flavor and is beloved by lots of bartenders and in the, in the hospitality community in general. I know, I know, it's Negroni. It's bitter. Some of you might not like it, but this is a little bit different and I encourage you to try it. So let's make it, shall we? For this drink, there's no real wrong way to make it. You can even build it straight in your rocks glass like I'm about to do right now, and it'll be just as good. The white Negroni is the perfect example of a modern classic. It's a variation on an old Italian classic cocktail, and it keeps the integrity of the drink. A booze forward, bitter aperitif drink with a subtle refreshing twist to it. It was a hot summer night when London-based bartender Wayne Collins suggested to have a Negroni but since they were in France at the time, he suggested to make it with French ingredients instead. Let's just call it a white Negroni. The story is as simple as the drink. The thing is that back then, not many bars stocked Suze or Lille Blanc, so the white Negroni did not gain popularity in neither its birthplace or the United Kingdom, but it did in the United States. In 2002, Simon Ford, now owner of 86 Company, was hired to be the brand ambassador for Plymouth Gin. And he had a tough task back then, to change the United States from being a vodka lover to gin lovers. So he took the white Negroni and introduced it to many bar owners that were interested in the spirit. One of them being Audrey Sanders, who was owner of Pegu Club in New York City. To quote the article of Punch Drink about White Negroni, Wayne Collins said, It was more of a bartender's drink, but I guess that's how trends begin. It does indeed. Since I'm building this drink straight in my double rocks glass, I'm gonna carefully add a large ice cube and then give it a quick stir. Whether you build this straight in your glass or stir it in a mixing glass, you do not need to stir this drink for a long time. About 5 to 10 seconds is more than enough. Once you stir the drink, it's time to choose your garnish. You can either garnish this with a grapefruit twist or grapefruit slice or wedge. But either case you will need a grapefruit and peel off a long strip of grapefruit or two. And as far for the slices, simply cut both ends of the grapefruit, enough to see the fruit, and you see that center core? Cut just outside of the core like so, so you can get these sexy grapefruit slices that look very uniform and fits better in the glasses. And to keep all components of this drink very simple, I'm gonna go with the grapefruit slice. And there you have 
your white Negroni. Cheers! Oh my god, I forgot how good this cocktail is. This, it's really good. Wow. This is bitter, refreshing, but still very well balanced. I mean, whoever hasn't tasted this cocktail, this is actually a must. Has so much flavor with just three ingredients. This is what really cocktail making is all about. Taking simple ingredients, making a good cocktail of it. I absolutely love this. The best part of this is how easy it is to make. I'm about to make a bunch of these. But that's gonna be it for me. If you enjoyed this video, hit a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next memoir. Cheers. <laughs>